12 Amazing Facts About Bruce Lee With the documentary Be Water making headlines about Bruce Lee, we can't help but wonder what are some of the most amazing facts about this famous martial artist. Welcome to Intrigued Mind, and today we'll be taking a look at 12 things you need to know about Bruce Lee. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to turn on notifications for more great content like today. Without further ado, let's begin with our countdown. 12. His Nationality As many people know, Bruce Lee was Chinese-American. However, what many people don't know about his heritage is that Bruce Lee was part German. He was the fourth of five children, and his grandfather was a purebred German Catholic. While this might seem like an irrelevant fact in the grand scheme of things, his impure bloodline actually worked against him during his lifetime. Since he was not pure-born Chinese, he could not be accepted into some of the most prominent kung fu schools of the 50s. Talk about discrimination! 11. He did not like swimming pools Bruce Lee is considered one of the most fearless men to grace the face of the earth. He fought many adversaries, carried out daring stunts, and took incredible risks during his lifetime. However, there's just one little thing Bruce Lee was actually scared of, and it's even sillier than you might expect. We're talking about swimming pools. When Bruce was young, he pushed his sister Phoebe into a swimming pool as an innocent sibling joke. She paid him back and then some by holding his head underwater until he promised never to do it again. After that, you probably know why he wasn't very fond of swimming pools during the rest of his life. 10. His Students Despite teaching many people throughout his lifetime, Bruce Lee only personally certified three instructors. These were Taki Kimura, James Yim Lee, and Dan Eno Santo. Taki Kimura holds a fifth rank in Jun Fong Gung Fu. James Yim Lee held a third rank in Jun Fong Gung Fu. Yim Lee was a very close friend of Bruce Lee and certified Gary Dill, who studied Jeet Kune Do under James and received personal permission to pass on his knowledge to new students. Ino Santo holds the third rank directly from Bruce Lee and Jeet Kune Do, Jun Fan Gung Fu, and Bruce Lee's Tao of Chinese Gung Fu. Other Jeet Kune Do instructors since Lee's death have been certified directly by Ino Santo, some with remaining Bruce Lee signed certificates. Bruce Lee also mentored other world karate champions, among these the memetic Chuck Norris, Joe Lewis, and Mike Stone. They managed to win every karate championship in the United States while being trained under Bruce. 9. His Birth Story Throughout history, there have been many strange events and prophecies foretold, though there are few other birth circumstances as special as Bruce Lee's. Bruce Lee was born on November 27, 1940, which was the year of the dragon per the Chinese zodiac. He was born in California, while his mother was accompanying his father, while he was traveling with the opera across the United States. Legend says that to confuse unfriendly spirits, Bruce Lee was first named Sai Fon, a girl's name that roughly translates to small phoenix, and had one of his ears pierced. His mom, Grace Lee, renamed him Jun Fon, which translates to return again, because she had a premonition that he would one day return to his birthplace in California. Later, the supervising doctor nicknamed the boy Bruce and anglicized his family name to Lee, though his family wouldn't know him by that name until he was a teenager. Talk about strange and intriguing! 8. He tried contact lenses before pretty much anyone else did. Contact lenses are extremely useful for those who want to see better without having to wear traditional glasses. And being both an actor and martial artist, Bruce Lee was one of the first people in the world to try out contact lenses, as he suffered from nearsightedness. That's precisely why Wing Chun's contact-centered martial arts movement was his favorite style, as he relied more on touch than sight. However, Bruce Lee didn't like how uncomfortable contact lenses felt on his eyes, so he stopped using them. 7. He began practicing martial arts at age 13 Bruce Lee began formal training in martial arts at age 13, which is actually pretty old to start. He began learning Wing Chun from Yip Mun, though his training with him was not an entirely heartwarming story. As we mentioned before, Bruce had German ancestors, and Yip Mun was a traditionalist, and quite frankly somewhat of a racist. He thought that Wing Chun shouldn't be taught to Westerners, and some of his students tipped him off to Bruce's German ancestry. However, Yip Mun decided to accept him anyway because of his respect for Bruce and his innate ability, a complete turnaround of his usual way of thinking. However, many other students demanded Bruce not be allowed to train there. On his own will, Bruce decided to leave the dojo and leave those lesser martial artists behind. 6. He had his sweat glands removed We all know that our armpits tend to get pretty sweaty, and that counts double for anybody who performs any kind of martial art. 
while Bruce Lee decided to have his sweat glands removed from his armpits, entirely for aesthetic reasons. Several months before his death, Lee had an operation to remove the sweat glands from his armpits because he thought dank pits looked bad on screen. However, this reduced his body's ability to dissipate heat. Many believe that this could have been related to his death. So, what do you think of these fantastic facts so far? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe for more great content. 5. He was a keen philosopher Bruce Lee was an artist, both in the martial sense and traditional sense. He studied drama and Asian and Western philosophy while he studied at the University of Washington. He particularly enjoyed reading and had an extensive library full of martial arts subjects and philosophical texts. He was influenced by Taoism, Jiddu Krishnamurti, and Buddhism. He also wrote his own books on martial arts, philosophy, and poetry. His motto was that the accumulation of all knowledge ultimately led to self-knowledge and believed that his method of self-expression was through martial arts. 4. He always carried a gun Bruce Lee was one of the greatest hand-to-hand -hand fighters of all time, but even he was very much aware that you shouldn't bring a sword or a fist to a gunfight. For safety, he carried a 367 Magnum on him almost all the time. Considering the large amount of people out to get him or attempt to fight him, this is one of the smartest moves a person like him could make. 3. He was a big fan of Muhammad Ali Bruce Lee was a big fan of Muhammad Ali and would have loved fighting him one day. That would have been one of the most impressive, amazing, and earth-shattering fights the world has ever seen. Of particular note, Bruce Lee mentioned that he admired Ali's blows, speed, and fierceness while in the ring. He even reportedly used to watch video footage of Ali's matches, trying to learn some of his moves to add to his own fighting style. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. 2. He was lousy at finances Bruce Lee was a genius of martial arts and philosophy, but he was no good at finances or keeping track of his expenses. In fact, it's well documented that he had quite a few financial problems because of his spending. He even struggled to meet mortgage payments on his house on several occasions, even though he made a substantial amount of money. What he shouldn't have done at this time is buy a new Porsche and go to the races with your friends. Not a really wise move. However, as he aged, he became more prudent financially, and after his death at age 32, his estate has continued to amass a fortune. 1. He was a proud atheist Bruce Lee's philosophy was very much opposed to conventional Confucianism and traditionalism, probably due to his upbringing and the troubles traditionalism caused him during his childhood. Despite it being frowned upon at the time, Bruce Lee was a proud atheist. He was famously asked in 1972 about his religious affiliation, and he replied that he had none whatsoever. Someone else asked him if he believed in God, and he said, quote, To be perfectly frank, I really do not. Despite dying at age 32, Bruce Lee lived more during his short life than many people do in their entire lifetime. He will be fondly remembered. Whoa! Those are definitely some incredible facts about Bruce Lee. What do you think of them? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel for more great content like today. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time.